so today we're gonna discuss about the millicons oil drop experiment so this experiment is based on the stokes law of viscosity and it states that when a sphere of radius r having the viscosity coefficient eta that is uh, falling under the action of many forces then it attains a terminal velocity and uh, the f net of it is given by 6 pi eta r vt in which the vt is regarded as the so this is the figure of the millikan's oil drop experiment and uh, this is the oil drop experiment so let us consider the two plates that are just made parallel to each other and uh, they are connected to a high power supply of about 10 volt kilovolt capacity and uh, from the plate a there is a hole at its center from which the oil is uh, just dropped from it and it has the chamber C and uh, it consists of the three uh, windows that is W1, W2 and uh, W3 in which the W1 is uh, for the uh, x-rays that ionize uh, this oil drops in the same way WT is for the light uh, for the illumination uh, illuminates uh, the use amount of the light and W3 is uh, for the observation and uh, W3 is uh, regarded as the microscope to view this uh, oil so now let's begin with its theory derivation so so when the electric field is switch on so we have the first case in which the electric switch is switched on so in this case when the electric uh, field is switched on then in this case uh, the upper terminal velocity under the action of the following three forces takes place That means that in this case when the electric field is switched on the uh, Drop will not move downward, but in the upward direction. So we have its weight will be uh, weight will be mg uh, Its weight uh, is equals to mg which is equals to the 4 by 3 pi r q uh, this into z in which uh, this is uh, regarded as the density uh, for oil drop so they are acting in the downward direction in the same way uh, in this case the obstruct also takes place and the obstruct is uh, given by 4 by 3 pi r q and this sigma which is the uh, this is uh, regarded as the density for year so and into gravity this is also for the acting upward but it is for acting upward And uh, this is for acting downward. Uh, this is for acting downward, and this is for acting upward. So we have two different phases. Uh, now the electric field E can be calculated. The electric field E can be calculated in such a way that uh, E is equal to electric field is equal to the potential difference across by uh, distance between the two plates in this uh, two plates the distance is D is considered as the D so uh, electric field is given by is equals to the potential difference by the uh, distance where V is the potential of the high voltage supply and D is the distance between the plates A and the B on uh, since the oil drop moves apart there exists a net apart force which is given by so there exists a net apart force this is given by F net is equals to the F E plus U minus M G. So we have F E is equals to the minus M G minus U. We can also take this. And uh, so Q E 
minus f by 3 pi r cube and uh, this density of the oil burn the density of this now applying stokes law we have a uh, q e minus 4 by 3 pi r q uh, by z is equals to the 6 pi n r v 2 since uh, f net is given by since uh, in the first case we uh, the f net in the principle I have already told that uh, f net is equals to the 6 pi eta r v so this is uh, the net f net and from this we can do that q e is equals to the 6 pi and I am just uh, directly convincing things uh, plus 2 by r so this is the equation sixth now the final for this expression is we have this uh, taken and then after we now takes for the when uh, and now for the second case uh, when the electric field is switched on when the electric field is switched on and in this case now when the electric field is switched uh, sorry it's switch off and in this case when the electric field is switch off uh, there exists the uh, oil drop seen under the microscope moves in the downward uh, direction with the terminal velocity and in this case we are supposing its terminal velocity as a v1 so if we supposed it then uh, I will write here so if we supposed it then its uh, weight mz will be 4 by 3 pi r cube into and z. that is acting downward and in the same way a thrust a thrust is equals to the weight of the air displaced displaced uh, so uh, it is equals to the volume of the drop into density into Z so in this case it is equals to the 4 by 3 pi r cube into into Z since the drop moves downward there exists a now downward force on the oil drop and is given by F net so it is uh, for the second case when the electric field is switched off so uh, that uh, the net uh, downward force is given by mg minus u is equals to the 4 by 3 uh, pi r cube z notice and this is subtraction uh, and this we regard as the equation uh, let's consider 7 we can consider any number for the equation uh, this I am writing here the 6 and this consider it as 7 it does matter so now applying uh, Stokes law and uh, now applying Stokes law we have f net we considered as 6 pi n r v1 and in this case we this is the v1 and 4 by 3 uh, pi r cube and this is g 
value of r uh, since r is equals to the root on the 9 eta v1 by 2 3. so this is the final equation uh, for the uh, electric field when switched off now we combine both the equation uh, now we combine both the equation that is equation number 6 and that of equation number 8 and uh, we will find its uh, final destination we will reach to our final destination so now finally from equation 6 and equation 8 we get f q is equals to the 6 pi n by e v1 plus v2 uh, into uh, 9 and v1 by 2 g so hence uh, from this equation we see that uh, this is the required equation uh, for the chance in this uh, experiment so we have to find the chance for this experiment and hence in this way we proved it so uh, this is the required expression for the chance in the millikons old drop experiment so next time i will come with the new experiment so till then just